Then we have card number two, which is right here. So similar, because I couldn't not use this designer series paper. I have a bunch of it left, and I love how it just brightens the card up. And then you just do some more fun stamping with that little toucan. This is that Daffodil Delight Roost ribbon that is carrying over, so you'll be able to get that. And then the cute little presents. Isn't that fun? Let's celebrate you, okay? And did I do? Oh, I did. So the balloons on the inside, too. Okay, so here we go. Let's make this one now. And you'll see the designer series paper. So this one was three and three quarters by five. This one is four by five and a quarter. So you see how that little quarter of an inch, how it shows a little bit more of your cardstock on the front of your card there, okay? All right, so we're gonna put that one right there. Oh yeah, so look, these are, we got a bunch more stamps to pull out and use this time. I don't think I need the terracotta tile. That one right there. Oh, and I did use, before I forget to mention, to color the little toucan's beak, I used a light Daffodil Delight marker. This one is a dark pumpkin pie, and this one is the light pumpkin pie. Okay, so I'll show you those, where we're gonna use those in just a little bit. Okay, and here are all my pieces. So again, I just loved the um, Bermuda Bay card base, so we did it again. You know, sometimes you just use what works and what you like. Okay, so again, another tall card, exact same idea. So you could make these two cards out of one sheet of cardstock. Along the eight and a half inch side, cut it at four and a quarter. Along the 11 inch side, uh, score it at five and a half. Okay, there's your tall card again. You can make a card that goes like this too. I don't do it very often, but I think it's kind of fun too. Might, you know, um, I don't know, something different, I guess is what I'm trying to say, right? Okay, so same thing on the inside and the outside. We have Whisper White, and then this is more of the Birthday Bonanza Designer Series paper. This one measures the four inches by five and a quarter inches. So again, it just shows a little bit less card around the outside, okay? Let's do our stamping for our little toucan, and then we'll cut him out. And then we'll do the other things. We'll do the, the rest of it we'll put together in just a moment. Okay, so the toucan, we're gonna use this guy right here. We've got our black memento ink. And I do wanna bring in, we're gonna use this guy here, okay? Because I want him to stamp well. I'm pounding. I don't ever pound except on this um, black linen ink pad. Ooh, it's just big enough. Don't pound, do not pound like that on any of our other, like any of our other regular firm foaming pads. Don't ever pound like that. Just this one you can to make sure you get enough ink. And then, ooh, beautiful. And this um, work surface really helps with that stamp and pierce mat. Love to use that also. Okay, so let's actually, uh, no, let's color now. Okay, so we're gonna use, oh, I should have brought my glasses. This is the Daffodil Delight. This was the, was it lighter or darker? No, I can't remember. Light, he yeah, doesn't say that didn't seem very dark. Okay, so in the top little section of his beak. Okay, I hope that's in the lines. <laughs> you guys can't tell either though, can you, right? Good thing. Okay, then the light pumpkin pie, we're gonna do down along the bottom right here. So we're not blending anything, we're just coloring is all. Okay, light pumpkin pie there, and then the dark pumpkin pie, we're gonna do up in this top little square right here. And I'll bring that up so you guys can see. So it just kind of adds a little bit of fun color. Let's scoot those out of the way, okay? So there's our little toucan man, right? Super cute, super duper cute. Okay, we're gonna cut him and some of the banners. We're gonna do those too, okay? Because we need two banners. You can see that one and that one there. And then I trimmed them off a little bit, but let's... Get him on there. We have to run the banner two times. Actually, do we have room? Maybe we'll do, let's do something different. We're gonna do one with the kind of little half moons and then one of the others that I already used. Let's do that. Oh boy, we're getting crazy now, aren't we ladies, huh? As long as that will stay on the paper. Okay, we'll see how that works out for us. And then the little toucan man right here. And actually, now that I'm thinking about it, do you think we can do all of them? Let's see, because I have the tag also. Let's see if we can do that one too. We only have to do it once. That would be lovely. 
Oh, phone is ringing, huh, Tammy? All right, well, come back and join us when you can. Thank you. All right, I think we're good. Let's get this die cutting going here. Sorry, lots of wiggle there. That was shaking all over the place, wasn't it? But I think we finally have a decent connection. Isn't he so cute? I just really like him. <laughs> He's like, what's the cereal? There's a cereal that that little guy is on, right? Okay, those are kind of fun too. All right, let me just get these out of the way. So this is, yeah, look at that. There are little banners. We have both of those right there. Okay, good stuff. And then our tag again. Okay, we're ready. <coughs> All right, I need a quick sip of water. <laughs> All right, so again, Let's see, we've got our tag. Let's actually, we gotta do our stamping. So we're gonna do our little presents that he's standing on, okay? So first of all, we need, this is some, nope, 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 we need daffodil first we're gonna do. Sorry, I've got stuff all over the place here, don't I? Okay, so our bottom little piece. Okay, there's our daffodil delight, right? Then we are going to use some Bermuda Bay for our next present. We're going to ink that up. We're going to stamp that one right there. Okay. And then one more present in, this time I used Grapefruit Grove, both of these colors. Fruit Loops, yes. <laughs> That's it, Anna. I knew. Fruit Loops, thank you. And Philomena, yes, you guys got it. I knew. I don't really eat Fruit Loops anymore. I probably did when I was young, right? Okay, I gotta make sure that that's inked up enough. And then there, there we go. Okay, so there are our little, three little presents all stacked up. We also need to stamp our, on this little teeny tiny piece. So this is a half inch wide uh, by like two and a half or so. Just a little strip I had left, okay? We're gonna stamp our Let's Celebrate You on there. Actually, we'll go this way. All right, we've got that one right there. Let's celebrate you. Okay, super cute. Now we can put this little baby together, right? I think, sorry, I keep moving my little host code thing. There we go. <laughs> okay, let's do, we're gonna put some dimensionals on the back of our toucan. Actually, we're gonna use some little baby ones. I don't like for them to show. So there, we can use the little baby dimensionals there. Okay, so let's add him onto our card again, or onto our tag, I guess I should say. Oh, look at how that, I was like, what did I get on there? But that's the stamp and Blends bleeding through your cardstock. That happens, right, with our Whisper White cardstock. There we go. Okay, now, same idea. We're, this is just right on the bolt, okay? We loop that in half. We put the loop through the back. I have to tell myself this every time, too. I do it backwards most times. You figure it out. Okay, and then actually we're gonna snip that off right there because we don't wanna run the whole bolt through, right? That would take forever. And just be careful when you tighten this up, you don't wanna pull too hard that you rip that, okay? And then we'll just kinda snip those off. There we go. Get those out of the way. Hello, Miss Wendy. Thank you for joining us. Okay, I think, let's put some dimensionals on the back of our tag again. I love Popping this up. Really, really, really wish these dies were carrying over because I can think of a million times I would like to use this tag. Although, oops, I shouldn't have pulled those off yet. We're gonna set that up there. I think there is a new tag something or other, a punch in our next catalog. I am going to, <laughs> we're gonna trim that down just a little bit and then I'm gonna just because I have it right here in my hand, we're doing this, right? We're gonna just kind of flag the end here. So did you see how I did that? I cut in the center, I cut in one way, and then I think it's easiest to flip over and cut at the same angle. And that makes that little flagged end there. <laughs> the colors are so bright and cheerful, aren't they, Philomena? I agree. Okay, let's put, Oh, wait, we got a stamp on the inside of this piece too. What do we have inside here? We had our balloons. Okay, so we're gonna scoot that over. Oh my gosh, that almost fell. That would have been lovely. Although with our Whisper White cardstock, you could flip it over 
and stamp on the other side. That would not be a problem. Okay, now typically I would probably do a couple of different colors of balloons, but I didn't want to clean this ink pad off um, every time on Facebook Live. So we're going to just do one color. We are just going to use, this is our Grapefruit Grove. So that's all we're using there. Okay, super cute on the inside. Now we can put that on the inside. Where's my snail? Here we go. Okay, so this can go on the inside of our card base. And then this one will go on the outside. Oops, it's like everything starts closing and does it happen to you where you just wanna like move everything out of the way? Like I don't have enough room to work anymore. And I love these, I had to, I just loved this paper and I just have not played with it enough and I know I say that a million times, but I love, I didn't even realize there were ice cream cones in this paper. So I was like, okay, well we are featuring them today. I want everybody to see these super cute ice cream cones. It's almost like ice cream cone season too, isn't it? Okay, so now these, we are gonna put, I put them on the card originally and then I was like, oh, they have to go on dimensionals. So we're just gonna add some and I may end up, I did cut things off, but I don't quite know where I'm gonna cut them off yet. So we're gonna just put um, mini dimensionals on the back of each of these things. So we might end up not using part of this. You could set it aside. <laughs> okay, Sharon, have fun on the video chat with the grandkids. I hope you have a great weekend too and happy Mother's Day. Yay, you gotta take those opportunities when you can. Okay, so let's see, what if we do, we're gonna do that one there and I'm gonna just trim that thing off, okay? And then we'll do these, trim these or peel these little bits off. We have used a lot of dimensionals today, so I've got lots of little dimensional backings all over the place. What if we do, we're gonna do it like that. Actually, we used almost all of it, didn't we? So we're gonna just kind of trim, can I get that? There we go, trim that off right there, okay? All right, now we've already taken the backings off of those, so we can kind of pop this one on right here. Those are still a little bit too tall. We're gonna just trim those off. There we go, okay. And then we need our, where did it go? Huh, okay, it's still here. The Let's Celebrate You, we're just gonna add that right on there. So I'm gonna put one mini on this side and peel the backing off. And you guys know me, I don't like it when it's like lopsided, so we can't put a dimensional there because that's already up on dimensionals. That makes sense, hopefully. So we're gonna put that one there and tack that down and then that one right there. And that is it. So what do you guys think? Aren't those cards so cute? Love the little toucans, love the little lion. Happy, happy birthday cards. So I hope you guys enjoyed these projects today. I've been forgetting to bring my other little sheet out, so I just wanna do my quick reminder recap that if you put an online order in of at least $30, you will receive either the make and takes or the completed cards, these two cards right here, with your $30 online order. Make sure you use this host code and your name is gonna go in the drawing to win the Neutrals Designer Series Paper Pack, right? Then it gets better if you bump your order up to at least $50, you get to pick from either a package of rhinestones, free rhinestones, or the Demo Design Tree, D Demo Design Dream Team. That's a mouthful, right? 16 project PDF tutorial. You choose either one with your $50 order. So thank you guys so much for watching. Oh my gosh, I love these cards. I hope you guys enjoyed these cards today. I hope you were inspired today. I hope you all have a fabulous Mother's Day on Sunday, however it is you get to celebrate. And hopefully the sun is shining where you guys are and you just have a great weekend. And we will see you next Friday. Bye, everybody. Oh, yeah. And don't forget, if you want to play online bingo, send me a message. If you need me to um, send you the PayPal link or invoice, I would love to play bingo with you at the end of the month. Again, when is that? May 27th. Wednesday, May 27th. All right. See you guys later. Thanks. Bye-bye.